was Paul Shortino yeah. with rock legend Carmine Apice, <laughs> ukulele ray. Yeah, with Richie Codson yeah, and rock legend Vinnie Apice. With Michael T. Ross. Robert Sarzo and Rudy Sarzo. Now we're with Paul Shortino. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Oh, thank you. It's well, a great event. This is a really successful event, huh? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yep. It's a good cause. The Japanese seem to keep giving to us. And it's now time for us to give back. They're great fans. Well, yeah, I'm here with rock legend Carmine Peace. How you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm doing good. It's a great event, right? This is an amazing event. Uh, have you played anywhere near where the disaster was? The whole, through the 90s, I was in Japan probably four times a year because I had a, I had a band over there uh, called Pearl with me, myself and Tony Franklin, and we played with two Japanese people, a singer and a guitar player. And so so we would go over there and we were considered more like a Japanese band. So we would go over there maybe four or five times a year. Then after that I played with a Japanese guitar player named Cha. It was Cha Boger in a piece. Okay. Like uh, Beck Boger in a piece, except he replaced Jeff Beck over there. And uh, it was amazing. So I was there a, a lot. I actually played the city that got flooded. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah. It was, and when I heard the name of the city, Sunday City, I said, I know that city. I know that city. And uh, then I realized, I looked at one of my old itineraries, and there it was. And uh, we had played there a, co a couple of times. Actually, so the venue you play that is probably wiped yeah, away. Bye bye. Everything's everything's wiped away. That's, That's I felt sadness. really sad. And I got to know, I was actually married to a Japanese woman for a little while, and wow. so I got to know the Japanese culture very well. And they're wonderful people, and you know, it's a shame. Ray. What's up? You Ukulele Ray. Yeah, that's me. Woo! And Kelly Raven. Hi. How are you? The new ukulele player on the block. <laughs> so I understand you guys opened up this event, the Tsunami Relief Project for the Japanese. Yes, we did. And we're proud to be able to do that because we have a lot of friends and fans in Japan that were affected by the tsunami and earthquake. And uh, we just want to send some love and some medicine. Oh, sorry, Kelly. <laughs> Their way. You know. Ooh. And what do you have to say, Mr. Raven? I am uh, ever so blessed to be amongst such dear friends and uh, for such a wonderful cause, a sad cause, because we need to focus on our country as well. But, um, it, you know, we're people. So, um, anyways, I'm glad, I'm glad to be here and, 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 and to, to play the ukulele for the first time is amazing. So, you know, Kelly Raven, uh, ukulele player as well. And, and who taught you everything you know on ukulele? Well, um, she did, but, you know, you, you weren't wow. there. So, so. I want to see. I Thank you very that. much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And, Thank you. And Let's rock it for Japan. Yeah. I'm here with Richie. Hi. How are you doing? I'm happy to be here. Have you ever played in Japan? Many times. Uh, the last time I was in Japan was 2006, and uh, I was on tour opening for the Rolling Stones. We did five shows together, and uh, I haven't been there since, but I'm actually going back the first week of May to play in Tokyo. I'm really excited to go back, and uh, it should be a, a great a great night. Uh, I'm honored to be a part of it, and uh, be in a situation to be able to do something that raises money to help the people in Japan. Japan's been a great market for me over the years and I've had a lot of great memories from Japan so I'm excited to be here and I'm very excited to have the opportunity to go back and play there again. I'm here with rock legend Vinnie Apice. How are you doing, honey? I'm doing good. You said the, the last name right too. That's cool. Uh, thank you. Right, because you're doing such a great thing for the Japanese in lieu of the tsunami and earthquake disaster. Yeah, this was really a cool, uh, cool event and uh, a lot of us have been there so many times. I've actually been in Japan when there was an earthquake. I was in, in the hotel, went up to the room, and all of a sudden, I was high up too, and the whole building started shaking. Chandeliers going like this. I'm like, oh no, not here. So this is really cool to be able to do something for, for Japan. You know, we all love Japan, and um, they've always been good and supportive for us and all the bands we've been in, and so this is cool. I'm here with Michael T. Ross of Alita Ford fame. Hi, Michael. Hello. And Michael, what do you play? 
Keyboards. This is a keyboard player for Lita Ford. Awesome. When Terry Luz uh, talked about his story of seeing a little little young uh, Asian gal wandering the streets and uh, lost, can't find her parents, and that something like that, and influenced him to uh, bring everyone together to uh, raise money for the American Red Cross. And I said, sign me up. Yeah. Yeah. And me and I'm standing here with two rock and roll brothers, Robert Sarzo and Rudy Sarzo. Say hi, you guys. Robert. Hi, how are you? Rudy. Hola, como están? Okay, and both of you guys are in two different rock bands and you're donating your gift of music to help the Japanese. Well, the first thing I flash back, uh, I was here during the uh, 2004 earthquake, so I totally flash back to that and uh, just knowing the feeling of being so helpless that you really need to reach out and, and help. And especially Japan has always been really kind to Hurricane where we play there and it's just the people are very kind and very hard workers, so uh, this is something that is, is, is a positive thing. Thing to do and it's a must to do and th there has to be more of this to uh, to be occurring right now. Absolutely. And your opinion of the tsunami, what did you think when you first saw it? What was your initial reaction? Well, I, 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 it didn't even look real just to see the mass of the water just not only pushing, pulling the houses? ships and houses and cars and just like I, you know, I, you know, we we're so used to watching special effects in movies, and this thing looked even less real than the special effects because the 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 power of the ocean, the, uh, it, it was it was mind-boggling. I've never seen anything like that, you know. But the bottom line is that you know, you ask us why we're doing it, us musicians that were gathered here tonight. You know, we all have very strong ties with Japan. All of us have, most of us, at least, I would say a majority of us, have already toured, we have had albums, we have friends, some of us have even has family in Japan. Oh, so okay. this is really the least that we can do, this you know. A... Because, you know, hopefully not only are we donating our time, but also create, create uh, raising awareness yes. of helping the Red Cross, yes. you know, which is to me is the best vehicle to help others, you know, through the Red Cross because they're always the first ones there. Yes.